good. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. Look, 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 they're here. Hi. I'm Phil, the storyteller. Hello, I'm Will, the music teacher. Will, you were just making a sound. What yes, is so this thing? Well, it's called a melodica, and I'll hold it up so everyone can see. And what's interesting about the melodica, you can see the keys, just like a piano, or a keyboard of any sort, and there it has a tube coming out of it. So that means that I use the air from my lungs to get it to play. After all, if I don't press any keys down, no sound comes out. Now I'm going to press a key. It's loud, isn't it? It's loud. It's loud. It's great. And uh, where do we see this played? You don't see it played that often. Sometimes you can hear it in reggae music. Yeah. Um, and if you Google melodica, you might be able to find some other places where this instrument is played. Now look, Will, I want to tell him a story. I knew I want you would. to tell him a story, but I need some music to go with it. Okay. All right, look. In this story... There are three boys, and I'm reckoning they're about year five, year six type of boys. And um, let's say they go to Real Street Primary School mm -hmm. or any other primary school anywhere in the whole world. But these are three typical boys. Can you give me some... Oh, they're triplets. Okay. Could you give me some music to show the three boys? Brilliant. There we are, the three boys. I'm going to begin now, and if I can ask you to play the yes. music. Okay. This can be our introduction to the story. All In right. fact, I can play with a drum while we do that. Okay. So let me add a little drum. Once there were three boys. Now look, don't ask me why this happened, but it did. Their mum named them, the first boy, shut up. The second boy, mind your own business. And the third boy, respect. Well, that at least was a decent name. Now you'd have thought that three boys like that would be teased because of their names but they went to Will Street, Pri Real Street Primary School or any other primary school in the country. And they went there and everyone thought they were great. And one day, Mum said, boys, boys, come in. I've got a special treat for you. And the boys said, whoa, yeah, Mum. <laughs> went shut up. <laughs> went mind your own business. <laughs> went respect. But. Shut up and mind your own business. They hid behind the door of the flats and they waited for their brother. <laughs> they put out their foot to trip him up. And as he came, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for my tea. I can't wait. Oh! He went flying and fell on the ground. Well, shut up and mind your own business. <laughs> they ran up the stairs. They squealed into the kitchen. <coughs> Hi, Mum. Good. Sit down. Eat your volcano. And then Mind Your Own Business came in. <coughs> Hi, Mum. Sit down. Eat your volcano. Then Respect came in. <coughs> Mum said, boys, stand up. You apologise to your brother. And Respect said, sorry, yeah, properly. Oh, okay. Sorry, respect. Good boy. Uh, mind your own business. Apologise to your brother. Okay, sorry. Good. Sit down. Eat your volcanoes. Now, my dear friends, your mum or dad can make you a volcano any time. All you got to do, you get a plate and you get some mashed potatoes and you mash them up really nicely. Ooh, lovely little man. Then you get your spoon, get some spuds, potatoes, and go 
put it on the plate. Then you make a mountain with the spoon. Ah, 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 ah. Then you get your spoon, you take up the top, top bit, you can eat that bit, and dig down, dig down, make a well, dig, 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 till you reach the bottom of the plate. Then you get beans. And you pour the beans into the world, right to the top, but don't let them overflow. And you leave it, you leave it there on the table. You've got to leave it. You've just got to step back, step back from the plate. Step back from the volcano. Yeah, and you've got to wait, you've got to wait two minutes. And in that two minutes, the hot beans begin to break down the inside of the well. The potato goes into the well, pushing the beans up, up, and out like lava coming down. And the boys, they love their volcanoes. And shut up, got his plate, went, nah, 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 nah. Ah, 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 Finish, Mum. She took the plate, put it straight back in the cupboard. While mind your own business, got his plate. Na 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 na. Ah. Ah, finish, Mum. Put it straight back in the cupboard. Mum said, "Respect each volcano." And he said, "I'm going to eat my volcano." Why don't you want to eat your volcano? Because they me I'm going to put it You will eat your volcano, or you will not get your special treat. I don't want to eat my volcano. And you know what he did? He stood up from the table without permission. He went to the toilet. He slammed the toilet door. He locked himself in the toilet. He wouldn't come out. Well, then Mum went back and said, well, he's not going to get his special treat. Boys, close your eyes, because I'm going to go to my secret cupboard. Now then, every mum in the world has got a secret cupboard. If your mum hasn't got a secret cupboard, that means it's so secret, you don't even know she's got one. And she opened the secret cupboard and she took out a football. But not just a normal football. It was a Gianni Versace, Giorgio Armani, Adidas, Gola, uh, uh, BMW, a Bucati Veyron football. And she said, there you go, boys, your special treat. And shut up, said, oh, thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. And the two boys, shut up, mind your own business. They went down to the flats. They were going to play their football. Now, shut up, got the ball. He said, see this ball yet? See me yet? Will you know me yet? Well, I can kick this ball yet. So high yet. When it comes down yet, it's going to have bits of cloud on it yet. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And he threw it up in the air. And as it came down, he kicked it. It went over the flats just as a policeman was walking under the flags. <laughs> the policeman was walking along and he was saying, <laughs> I'm a very nice policeman, I'm one of the nice, well, I'm a nice policeman, right? Nothing's going to happen to me today. And the ball came down. and knocked the policeman on the head. Oh, he said. But his helmet fell on the floor, and his helmet rolled into a pile of dogs. Poo! Oh, no! Oh, no! said the policeman. This is bad! This is bad! He picked up his helmet, and he said, This is bad. This gonna, that, that's going to cost a lot of money to clean that. Oh, I've got some on my hand. Oh, I've got to wipe it off. And he went to a radiator. Uh, uh. But no one told him someone turned the radiator up a hundred degrees. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now listen to me. Those boys that kicked that football, and I know it was boys, will come flying around the corner before I count down from five. Four, 
three, two. Shut up, Kim, playing around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's my football, it's my... It's not my football, it's not my football. Come back here. What, me? Yes, you're... Oh, my goodness, yeah. Wolves getting blamed for everything round here. Come here, come here, said the policeman. Stand over here. And then mind your own business came round. It's my turn to kick the football. It's, it, it's not my turn to kick the football. Come back here. Okay, I'm coming back to you. Come here, said the policeman. You stand over there. All right, then. You boys are in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Take your hands out of your pockets. Take that out of your mouth. Don't, don't throw it on the floor. Put it in the bin. Goodness gracious. Right, stand up straight. You boys are in a lot of trouble. I'm going to get out my little pad with my pencil. I'm going to take your name and address. Right, you. What's your name? Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. I'm going to ask you again, little boy. What's your name? Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. Listen, boy, 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 I'm going to go by the rules. I'm going to be really polite to you, boy. All right. What's your name, little boy? Shut up, Mr. Policeman. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, I'm going to ask the other little boy. Are you his brother? Yeah. Did he kick the football? Yeah. <laughs> you look like a clever boy. Are you a clever boy? Yeah. Okay. What's four plus four? Yeah. What colour's the sky? Yeah. I think you're making fun of me. Are you making fun of me? Yeah. Do I look like an idiot? Yeah. Now listen, boy. I've had enough of your cheek. You're his brother. So, what's your name? Mind your own business. Don't tell me to mind your own business. I'm going to ask you again. What's your name? Mind your own business. Honestly, boys these days, boys these days, they got no manners. They got no respect. Where's your respect? He's locked in the toilet. He's not coming out. And that is the end of the story of the three boys. There we have it. Well, Will? Very good one, Phil. Do you, you like that, that story? Yeah, it's a brilliant one. Would well, you know what I want them to do? No. You must now tell that story to someone that you know. Okay. Um, it's like trying to remember a joke, isn't it? You've got to remember the characters. You've got to remember the order to, to tell it. But then you can add your own bits as well, can't you? You can always add your own bits in any story. Well, um... Have you got something for them to do, Will? I have. Uh, I'll just move this out of the way. When a lot of looking go down there. And you, you probably notice when I was making the music then, I was playing a little tune with the melodica and I was also playing a steady beat on the drum. So something that you can do at home. I'm still here. My head went out of the picture for a minute. And I'm going to... Keep a steady beat with this hand, and then with your other hand, you can add your own rhythms. To start with, just do a really simple rhythm, like say, t t t t t t ta. So, can you do that? you can make them more complicated so you could do something with the rhythm which was more uh, complex so maybe but remember when you start just keep it really simple even probably a one of the easiest rhythms would be just this. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Do that a few times first. And then add the beat. And 
and so on. So you're combining the rhythm with the beat, just like I did with the melodica and the drum. Have a try. That's a great challenge, Phil. Brilliant challenge. Well, my dear friends, we're going to see you again next time. So uh, just for today, it's goodbye from me, Phil the Storyteller. And it's goodbye from Will, the music teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.